It makes you want to play. Or even go back to where you really just had no worries, you know, it just was just basketball. Bill Case Abdul Qadir's story unfolds in the documentary Life Without Basketball. Abdul Qadir is a native of Springfield who dreamed of a professional basketball career in Europe. The documentary centers on her struggle with a controversial ruling, banning her from wearing a hijab while playing in international competition. It was a historic night in Springfield. Senior Bilkis Abdul Qadir blew Rebecca Lobo's scoring record out of the water. I mean, anything is possible. Never give up, practice, your dreams come true. I literally graduated, went home, gathered all my bags, and went to the airport. So that's how fast things were going. Where's Bilkis? Right here, stand up, Bilkis, just so that we, I want everybody to know. She's got heels on, she's 5'5". Five, five. As an athlete, Bilkis is an inspiration not simply to Muslim girls, she's an inspiration to all of us. Here she steps in, fires a jumper and buries it. One point ball game, shot clock. Anna Munn looks over to Greer. Greer fires an off-center three-pointer. She knocks it down. Three seconds remaining now. Quick foul now. Oh, and that's a foul. Oh, no, no, no. It goes left. It doesn't go. That is the ball game. Coming out, you know, my senior year, and I went to the combine, I played in front of all these scouts, and, and I'm just like, Kesey, you might not be a pro. I prepared myself to kind of be put in a place where I might not play. And actually, I wasn't thinking it because I was Muslim. It was because maybe I'm not good enough. Am I anybody without basketball, you know? And it's, it's weird, it's like, am I still myself? I took a job, I'm gonna be moving to Memphis. I'll be the director of physical education, and um, I'll also teach it, and then I'll coach the girls' team. All right, so come on. I'm just gonna warm you guys up a little bit first. First move is gonna be a crossover. Now the key is to dribble low. You wanna keep the ball below your knees, okay? Like this, cross, okay? It's hard being a young Muslim woman in America. You have to be strong. Regardless, like it, it takes strength to, to walk outside and look different than everybody else. Co-directors John Mercer and Tim O'Donnell say the film offers more than just a tale from the basketball court. They spent four and a half years filming with Abdul Qadir and her family. You're in, in her living room. You're at the dining room table with the Abdul Qadir family. It's just really nice to finally get to meet a typical American family that practices, you know, Islam, that's a Muslim family. You get to see some of their trials and tribulations. It was obviously a really important story for them to kind of have out there and, and, and be made public, but still, you know, you're, you're when you're filming for that amount of time, you're, you're there for so many other moments. The local filmmakers say life without basketball pulls the curtain back on a Massachusetts story many people may not have heard about. There are a lot of great players in Springfield and they sort of never make it out for those in the Boston area that, that may have missed her story. It's a great piece of history for the state. She holds the state scoring record for both men and women in high school. You know, it's a part of the Boston area, it's a part of Massachusetts, uh, it's a part of basketball history. I'm gonna just continue to pray, continue to follow these signs. And I think that's something that, of course, is hard to do, just trust in, in what people think is like blind faith, you know, having blind faith because you, you, we don't know the future. Bill Key still holds a high school career scoring record in Massachusetts for girls and boys. The directors say this is a great film for parents looking for educational resources for their middle and high schoolers. It easily lends itself to discussion after you watch. Next, the future of a family farm.